Alright. Finally, got my hands on one. I've wanted one for a while, but it's just never happened. Diesel heater all in one. This is a 5 kilowatt model. I've got an improved cap. A better breather. It's now on the floor. Better breather. So it's got this little bung. In the original ones, I've seen photos on forums of them sucking the caps shut. <laughs> A bit of a mix of engine oil and diesel in there at the moment. This has got a four port outlet. I'm going to change that over to the single one. The four port doesn't really suit what I do. Lab power supply running it. Power in. Heating air in. Exhaust out. Air filter in. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll pull it all apart in another video another day. I just wanted to show you what's up with it. So, it's saying it's 16 degrees, but that's inside its housing because it's been going already. Telling you the power, the voltage coming in. It probably only registers 13 or 14. Hold down the on button. And away it comes. We got a six, which is high. That must be monitoring the outlet temperature. So it's still got 12 volts inside the unit. 16 degrees inlet. So we'll play with that more in a sec. I'll show you how easy it fires up. Pulls about 7 to 8 amps on the heat up. I'm going to take this one camping so I'll actually show you how to set this up for your uh, camping mobile home thing very soon. I'm going to just duct it straight up and in the base. And you can just have it ticking over while you're out camping. It's about th it's like 4 or 5 degrees outside at the moment. It's not very warm. You hear the fuel pump. that it's mounted on. And here it burning away. Temperature starting to rise. Pretty cool that it's got a sensor in the air outlet. I'll put a link to these in the uh, video description for eBay and Banggood. Um, depending on your region, Banggood can be cheaper, but in Australia they're generally a little bit more expensive, I've found. See the air output temp coming up. Dropped right off there, it's 1.2 or up to 2 amps. Nice clean exhaust, no smoke. That's actually got engine oil mixed in with that diesel in there at the moment. Got 600 litres of engine oil today, it's going to make up some mix diesel engine oil mix and uh, going to filter it. So, That'll be cool, I'll make some videos about that. I'm actually going to pump it through um, disposable like car, air, car oil filters. So we can really screen it off so these pumps last a long time. This one won't stay in this shed. Uh, this will be my portable one for wherever I'm working. Uh, the other one I've got, which is the one that's featured in many of my other videos, that will be installed in my shed for my office. Uh, I'm going to burn all manner of horrible oily mixes. Like I said, got 600 litres of waste engine oil. Mate's a mechanic. He's going to probably supply me with 
couple hundred litres a month, I'd imagine. Um, just going to make the most of that while we've got that coming in. And uh, diesel's cheap at the moment, so good time to mix diesel in with it. Look at that, 140 degree air temp coming out the backside. It's registered 16 degrees coming in, 150 coming out, 54. So yeah, we'll do some teardowns and play with this at a later date. Show you how it works. Uh, we can actually play with the heat output settings on this one, and uh, that's pretty cool. Not overly loud, probably sounds pretty loud, but certainly not annoying. I'm gonna get about a meter of ducting to bring this up into my camper van, and uh, hopefully, take the family camping next weekend. So, drop a deep cycle next to it sit it up on something flame proof like a brick or two we'll take a couple of bricks to sit it up on and uh yeah put it away from the away from the motorhome a little bit and blow hot air into it so that'll be cool yeah you can also get them with the remotes and stuff like that so i'll feature a couple in the description for the video and uh we'll pull this apart another day and have a good look at how they do it inside but this is certainly a good option if you don't have to go through installing one also a great option if you just want to heat a shed heat up a room while you're plastering painting car work bodily work detailing yeah there's many uses that it all in one can do for you either a power supply or a battery straight to it and away you go so Hundred degree air temp. There you go. And I've found with waste engine oil, once it's burning, if you get a bit of waste engine oil in with the diesel, it'll actually burn hotter. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch you on the next video. Links for this is in the video description. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.